All right, so we have the um, Carnival LR Kid Gohan here, and we're, we're gonna show him off today, right? So we'll, we'll have him just, I think he'll be cooking. So I think this guy is definitely an underrated unit compared to, I feel like, um, how a lot of the other Carnival units are kind of talked about. I mean, especially because this guy came out. He did come out with Kai Goku, who is, I feel like, definitely a much more influential release. But this guy could still cook. So we have two versions of this guy. We have him 55%, uh, I think level 10. And then the friend is uh, Rainbow, almost in level 10, but pretty much in level 10 there. So we should be having more or less a good time. Um, Kid Gohan is a unit that wants to take a bunch of attacks, but we also want to get him stacks. This Omega Shadowrun can stun us in the first slot. So I'd rather not have to worry about that. Uh, this Kid Gohan is also a defense stacker, so as time passes on, his defense will get higher and higher. The issue with this build, I'd say, is the fact that um, like there's a lot of int units. So if you aren't aware, this Omega Shenron, he does, um, what's it called? What, what's what I'm gonna say? He does reduce damage received by an, an extra amount against any non-int type units but against specifically int type units this omega will actually um what was the word he will take more damage right so kid gohan is gonna get a lot of these additional super attacks right so for his intro kid gohan does get um an additional attack that's a great chance hit for it to become a super attack extra key and extra stats um, and then after he receives a couple of attacks, he could build up some extra attack and defense. And once he receives his full eight attacks, he does launch a guaranteed additional super attack the following turn, right? So there's a lot about this kid Gohan. Uh, the biggest part I think of his kit that will allow him to be okay defensively is his 30% damage reduction once he's actually able to uh, perform his ultra super attack. Which, again, the Ultra Super Attack should not be hard to get off, especially once his full key is built up. Um, it should be pretty easy for him to get that full Super Attack buff for him. I think we'll keep Ajo Gohan here for now. Orange Piccolo, I mean, nah, probably should keep Orange Piccolo here. Just because I, I would like him to get his full build up there. Now this kid Gohan is definitely going to um, do a lot and again with Orange Piccolo we will be able to get his, um, what's it called, oh you know Gohan missing a super that sucks. With Orange Piccolo he will be able to get his unit super attack. Uh, kid Gohan does actually um, greatly stack attack so uh, like when he gets his ultra super attack that will directly feed into his, um, what's the word, okay I just keep like messing up, <laughs> his active skill. Which will be able to be used just from turn 5. As long as there's a bottom master in the stable category um, rotation. Which luckily for us, I mean, this is a full master and student bond team. Um, under a, just a full 200% leader skill with Kid Gohan really, really good. This guy not getting any stacks uh, so far does kind of suck. I was thinking about bringing Ultimate Gohan. Uh, just maybe we could have all in the family there. But oh well, that's not, just not going to work out like that. I almost really want to keep this physical Piccolo here for now, just so we can get some extra stacks, because this guy, he's going to be very influential for us. I mean, should I just, like, do this? We'll put him like this, right? Then I get some extra stacks. I probably should do that. Uh, physical Piccolo getting his stacks are very, very important. Um, but we'll definitely have to keep this guy in the other rotation, huh? Okay. We'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, does this Piccolo, does he support right? Maybe I should... Yeah, I'm going to reset, actually, and then um, I want to keep him there. So we're just going to have to hope Physical Piccolo will be okay. I mean, I do have Ghost Ushers, so if really necessary, I'll definitely use the Ghost Ushers. And um, when Physical Piccolo is against the STR phase, if I have to, I don't, this is not like trying to be a no-item run. We're really just trying to show Gohan off, and I think keeping that into Piccolo on rotation with the support will be important. But I will put Gohan in the first slot so we could start taking some of these attacks because he wants to start, start taking a lot of these. Uh, so the rotations we're going to have is going to be Kid Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks. Then Kid Gohan and this Int Piccolo right here. Those should be some pretty good rotations. Okay, we'll grab this with you. 
we'll grab this with you i don't think this uh int piccolo has any like useful super attack effects if i'm not mistaken uh this does not build up his attack right yeah okay so kid guan does get an extra attack buff after he receives five attacks would be nice not to get that here which we did not which is going to be good um yeah this piccolo let's see post easy a he does actually great lower attack on a swokey okay that's good yeah okay okay nice 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 that attack lore is going to come in clutch uh because so mega can get an attack board but um yeah again the thing with this going is that over time he stacks up more and more and more and once he has his passive fully built up he should really be perfectly fine against these aoe's it's um ooh, that took a lot of damage right there did we okay that's okay uh hmm not really ideal in terms of the damage it took there that's okay we will be able to heal up over time we'll grab this and then we can get this with you uh, orange pickle we can get a pretty nice heal right there yeah pretty nice heal uh i guess the only issue is no stack with video and trunks extra but that's okay they should be able to hold slot one pretty good regardless and if anything when we come back we could use their active skill uh, which will give us a defensive boost for the turn of 20% multiplicative to all our allies on that rotation. So that's going to be helpful, right? In case we do need to, like, tank a little better. Um, I would like to say that if I could, but, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? It seems like we're going to kill this turn because of Kid Gohan, I think, uh, which is okay. Yeah, okay. Kid Gohan doesn't really do anything on his 12 key super attack. He just raises attack for the turn. I, um... I don't know. I feel like he could have raised defense. Well, no. Yeah, he, it just literally is just an attack raise on his 12. I think he could have raised defense for the turn two. That would have really helped this Gohan in a positive way. Uh, that would have impact him quite a lot. Okay, so we have physical Piccolo coming right now. See, okay. These rotations aren't really looking the best. Gohan right here. This guy is going to take a lot of damage. Um, but you see, um, our kid Gohan right here. He should be just fine, actually. Um, I mean, should I use the, I shouldn't use the, um, the item here. I just gotta, there's only one AOE. We, we'll hope that he does like a triple super or something. That would be very helpful. I, I do have to save the, um, the actual item itself for the next turn. Yeah, I could go on second 50k there. We, we could die here, I think for sure. Uh, could go on, does have his dodge. Uh, well, I guess Super Saiyan Gohan does have dodge in him, right? Again, this, so this is a free dupe Kid Gohan. He's already at 700k plus defense. After a few turns, his intro will run out and he'll get less stats. But, I mean, he's looking pretty good here. He's definitely cooking, right? With this Piccolo, he does share Gaze of Respect, which will give him 10% attack and defense. Okay, how hard does this hit? Oh, he dodged with the 5 dodge. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to know. But he's taking... He's taking nothing after the Omega Shinran super attack, which he does still raise attack even though we dodged it if I'm not mistaken. I guess we could see here with what Ejo Kid Gohan's going to take. He should still take a lot. Yeah, 130k. Um, I think we're barely alive basically, right? I don't know. Let's see. Dodge, 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 dodge. No dodge. Okay. We'll hop back in. All right, we're back here. Um, Orange Piccolo does not have his guard, I believe, anymore. He might take a little damage here, but we should be okay. So, Kid Gohan is at a reasonable defense level, I feel. Uh, we'll grab this with you. Uh, again, he has, again, Gaze of Respect, First Battle Legendary Power activated here. 500k sort of turn. That means that, yeah, we should be pretty good against the AoE right here. Because the AoE only hits for 400k. So a free dupe Gohan, not even fully bolts up by the way, is able to take uh, no damage from that, which is good, right? Um, now this Piccolo should be able to be tanky against this, right? I think he does have a defense raise. Um, no, he doesn't have a defense raise. Yeah, I wish that Piccolo did raise his defense on his super attack effects. That'd be pretty good, but he's able to tank very well in slump one regardless. Now Kid Gohan does have his damage reduction activated. So even if he does get hit by these AOEs at the back after like a super attack, we should be okay. And he's still building up more and more defense. So um, Kid Gohan is definitely able to cook, right? For sure. Uh, like this is a free dupe Kid Gohan, right? Now Orange Piccolo, 
Okay, he should be fine. After this double super orange pickle, it should be good. Even with just his 20% damage reduction, he will definitely be cooking here, which is very helpful. And then in the last phase, if we need to, we could always use the, um... Oh, he still had some build-up, huh? Well, that's fine. In the, la in the last phase, if we need, we could still use his giant form, which would be nice. Alright, and the good thing is that now this, uh... Gohan has his full passive and guard up, so he should be good. Uh, yeah, this guy is definitely good himself. Vegeta and Trunks, maybe they'll take some pretty significant damage here, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. All right, we'll grab that. that. I uh, I think that he's going to instantly super me here. Is that That's what I'm feeling here. I, I smell like a slot one instant super attack. Um, if he wants to, I guess maybe he's not. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so this is going to raise his attack by 50% for the turn. It's going to be quite a lot, right? Um, Vegeta, Trunks, Vegeta and Trunks ate that pretty well, though. This, yeah, 30k. But, again, no, um, that's without any actual, like, damage reduction. So now he's going to build up that reduction. It, it, it sucks that the reduction is... Honestly, so, that, that's the one issue I have with this guy. Um, I feel like his defense is, like, good, but it's not... It could be a little better, right? I think to allow him to be able to be, like, substituted on a lot of these teams a little easier. Like, if he had, like, 58% damage reduction, like, once he... After he super attacked, like, who cares? Just give him that, and then, like, you could just throw him as a floater in any team. I feel like with just 30% reduction, you can't really put him as a floater like that, which is a little unfortunate for what this guy wants to do. I had to make a quick cut there, but uh, we're back right here. Just right at the beginning right here. We are looking pretty good, I think. Um, we have physical Piccolo this next turn. We'll see how the rotation plays out. And uh, I think I should potentially be able to transform him. He's going to heal us, right? Um, that physical Piccolo. But I might use... So the super's right there. Ah! No, he's at 300k. Hmm... I'll have to... Okay, okay, I know what to do. We'll grab this with you. Bam. Kid Gohan can get all of this, and he'll heal good in my eye. He's at 760k right here. It's pretty good. And then now we'll transform with Physical Piccolo. And let me skip that, and he should be good now right here. Um, With his 40% reduction, he should be perfectly fine against that AoE. All right, uh, let's just keep going, right? I, I, I mean, I guess if I do get a new item, I'd be fine with that, right? That, that'd be good with me. Um, I guess I could have put Gohan in the first slot to see how well he would tank that. But no, 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 because uh, this Piccolo has to be in uh, slot one or else he doesn't guard, right? <laughs> yeah, that would not be good if he doesn't guard. It'll be interesting. How well cause, could in Piccolo eat this? He dodged. Okay, well, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, well, Kid Gohan, 9.6. Again, yeah, the attack stacking is working in our favor for sure. Um, and he's just going to keep going. There's, I think that might be the guaranteed. He should be fully built up to have that guaranteed super. I believe after this turn, though, Gohan does no longer have his, um, full buff in terms of, uh, what's it called? His intro animation, right? His intro animation runs out after six turns. So I'm pretty sure if it's not over, it will turn as a seven. Yeah, because this is the second rotation, right? So uh, from, from what I recall, how the actual rotation started. Ooh, Fizzle Piccolo might actually kill here if he crits. That'd be pretty cool because uh, he gets more crit chance to lower HP. Is that right? I have full additional on him. Uh, and he did not crit, but he should tank these fine. Yes, uh, 60k is a bit much. Uh, we couldn't get a lot of stacks with him. Definitely physical piccolo could be in a situation where he'll look much better but uh, i think we'll have kid gohan kill what? yeah i want, I want kid gohan to kill i want to give him another stack here uh well vegeta and trunks nah i think we have to have vegeta and trunks do that um because that that aoe is very scary right there that's a it's a very scary aoe attack and he's gonna heal anyway so Kid Gohan should still be able to get a uh, super attack stack in right there in the middle. Yeah, you can definitely tell the intro passive wore out. He's only at 600k. His passive should be fully built up, I believe. I mean, if, if his passive is not fully built up, he'll get a little bit of extra defense. But I'm pretty sure he's basically fully set here. 
Um, we'll see. He obviously, the, again, these AoE normals are not going to do it. Oh, he's not fully built up. See, okay. That's good to see. Um, so he could still get some extra stacking right there. Does he have his... No, he still needs to kick some hits. There's no way that he's fully built up in his, like, overall passive. Because you have to keep in mind, my kid go on hit harder last turn. Yeah, there's, there's no way he's not fully built up, right? I, I doubt it. I really do doubt it. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just do this right here. This should be good. I'll, I'll wait one more turn, and then I'll use the active next turn. Well, this will be a good point to use the active, huh? Yeah, well, well, let's see how hard 55% Gohan will hit here with his active skill. Why not, right? So when Gohan uses the active skill, he becomes super effective against all types for the turn it's used in. Um, so he should be able to do a bunch of attacks while being super effective against all types here. His defense right here is 760k. So these AoE normals are pretty much just, they're just not going to do damage to him. Nope, not at all. These AoE normals, he will be eating these for breakfast. We'll get this with him and then... We'll actually grab this, right? That should be good. And then we could have some of these in orbs and normals to heal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. That's why you get this Piccolo with full dodge cooks. He cooks, y'all. This Piccolo with full dodge. Oh, he's so good. And again, confirmation get Gohan eats this for breakfast. Um Get Gohan should also be fine against a super attack. So you pretty much I feel like this team is strong enough defensively to it's like I'm not really gonna be in a worry. Um, physical Piccolo, even even though he doesn't really have many stacks, like Physical Piccolo, we could we could uh, I made him cook in another video, um, and he's just been kind of floating around here. Okay, yeah, you could definitely sell the attack stat is a lot lower. So may maybe um, yeah, that, that's that's the issue with not having that intro buff anymore. Um, well, that's fine. All right, kid, go on. What you got here? I guess the, the only unit that could die is Orange Piccolo. But then we do have his active skill we could just use. And then he just like doesn't die, right, on the active skill turn. Because we just nullify the super, right? Um, but I'm I definitely like this good Gohan's performance. Again, he's good. He's definitely very, very strong, right? And again, this is just 55%. You pull him once, you do have to link level him, right? But you get him link leveled, and then he cooks. Even in the hardest stages of the game. I like to see him a lot too. Ooh! <laughs> Perfect. We could see what he takes. On this super attack turn right here. Sick, okay. This should do some pretty nice damage. Yeah, this kid Gohan is this guy. This one right here is gonna do a lot more damage. Um We'll grab this here. I guess we're gonna get a very weak Dokken attack. That's okay. I I don't really care. I, like how strong the Dokken attack is gonna be. Um what I do care about is seeing Kid Gohan be a god gamer. He should, would he live this right here? We have 730k HP. He has a lot of stack defense and he's going to have a 30% reduction. Um, he has a good shot at living this here. He doesn't have any defensive links activated. Keep in mind, like, if I ran, like, physical ultimate Gohan, you would be able to get all in the family. And all in the family would give us 25% defense in total. No. I think it's, it's it's just 20 percent defense right on the family yeah 20 percent defense but that's huge that that's a lot of attack gaze of respect girls give him 10 percent um but this physical pickle actually does not have gaze of respect which is fine uh not really a big deal okay cool yeah Vegeta and trunks definitely they're not like a they're definitely not a unit that you're gonna be like oh yeah off offensive gods okay so nine mil super effective then he has a guaranteed double super attack incoming here. Uh, Piccolo unit super attack right there. Um, another one right here. So, yeah, he got another stack, by the way, with this on, on top of this. So, <laughs> pretty good. All right, let's see. What, what are you going to take here? If he dies, I'm okay with that. But let, let's see. Could this kid go on live? I think he lives. I feel like he does, but we'll see. 
This Omega might just hit too hard. Yeah, I know he lives for sure. Sick. That is pretty good for me to see right there. Yeah. Um, okay, go on, Cooks. Do I even have to show anymore? I mean, I guess we can keep going. Might as well just keep going. There's like no harm in doing that at all. Um, no, not really. And physical Piccolo actually. Yeah, physical Piccolo even has just a floater, minimum stacks and everything. Look at him still cooking. He's truly might go. I love this physical Piccolo unit. He, he's a really good EZA, and in here he cooks really good. Um, I think this is definitely a turn where we just use Orange Piccolo. So I think I'll just skip this. Let's actually build up some into key spheres. That'd be cool. Oh, hmm. Yeah, if I grab that and then I grab this. I have to grab these in key spheres on the side, but that's fine. We want to build up some in key spheres um, with orange piccolo. Um, I'll just I'll skip this orange piccolo for him because yeah, whatever. All right, cool. Um, yeah, we should be good. So we'll just grab this with this boy. Kid, go home and grab this. What is what is this guy's defense at now? Yeah, eighty k. The, the free to play, uh, not the free to play, the 55% free to play kid Gohan. The 55% kid Gohan can tank super now. Uh, based on what we saw last time, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I just want to keep going until we get it. Um, is there anything of no I'll get super this kid Gohan? Uh, not really. He just kind of is cooking. Uh, I guess, I guess. Uh, you know, funny enough, he would be. He would look pretty good next to Kai. But I think that's like better for shorter fights like against the sin event him and Kai Goku will cook but like right here we're turn 11 in there right and another issue is they only share one 200% team together that's the physical ultimate Gohan team which you know I guess you could you could definitely win with the physical ultimate Gohan team in here just because the last phase right, is int no item would be difficult but I would not say it's impossible okay um Let's just keep going here. Bam. I think we could very easily kill this turn, or we could just not kill this turn, right? It really depends, but Omega can't kill us at this point. It's not possible to kill us at this point, because we're just we're gonna do enough damage to him by the time Tech Piccolo comes back and could potentially get super attacked. It's just not gonna be a thing. Um Kid Gohan W. You know, there's an account on Twitter, Extremely Happy Kid Gohan. He asked me how my day was. I think that was pretty cool. So I gave him a follow back. Very cool guy. It, it just seems like so far. Extremely Happy Kid Gohan. I like him. I like him for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, Vegeta and Trunks does no damage. How well do they tank this? This is like a mega stacked Vegeta and Trunks, I feel like. Like, with turn 12 stacked up Vegeta and Trunks here. Yeah, 200k is just absolutely nothing. Um, so we saw Kid Gohan live a super, and that Kid Gohan had around the same level of defense as the 55% one at this point. Uh, the reason why is because of the support, by the way. I think the physical Piccolo 40%, uh, not the physical one, the in Piccolo 40% support is pretty massive. Uh, just for a stacking unit, just having that 40% support will really raise it, and then plus the extra link skills. That's cool. Alright, Gohan. Crit. No. You might kill if you... Well, actually, I don't even have crits built into you. <laughs> this guy can't actually crit. <laughs> well, no. I think he has, he has three crit in him. I gave him a lot of dodge. Um, just because he crit... He crit in Super Saiyan 2, so I'm like, yeah, let's just do that. But um, I guess at this point, you don't really use Super Saiyan 2 like that anymore. Yeah, he's at a million defense now. Cool. I mean... Pretty sick. Stacker unit gets a million defense. No way. Oh my god, what? That's crazy. Um We never saw In Piccolo take a super. Because he kept dodging. <laughs> Dude, In Piccolo dodged like He do he did he dodge every single super attack that was aimed at him? Oh, we saw Chandler subscribe. Hello Chandler, thank you. Um I feel like he dodged literally every single super attack that was aimed at him. That's pretty sick. I like that. I like that. Yeah. In Piccolo, goaded for sure. And we killed with Kid Gohan. Poggers. Poggers. Pretty sweet. Um. 
plus one. Like a Piccolo Gohan team. We had Vegeta and Trunks there. But it was mostly a Piccolo and Gohan team. So that's cool. Well, who, who else could I put on here for full Piccolo Gohan team? I don't know. That was sick. Alright guys, let me know what you think of the Kid Gohan. I feel like there will be some people out there who wants to summon for this character. If you do summon, I do wish you the best of luck. Uh, but if I had to choose, I would say Kai Goku better recommended. But this guy, uh, obviously able to know effortlessly, no effortlessly, no item that's safe. So, yep. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.